Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Summers, and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. Well, this is my last day uh, over on the East Coast. I'll be returning to more familiar uh, environments uh, uh, later today back into the Houston, Texas area. Uh, but I was thinking this morning about one of my students uh, many years ago who was uh, all of a sudden being plagued with uh, uh, weird things happening to her, uh, strange, uh, unexplained uh, noises in her, her house, uh, things moving around by themselves, and uh, she had this fear of dread uh, that uh, something uh, evil was uh, following her. And uh, I began talking to her, and over a period of time, I realized that uh, she stayed up late at night and uh, uh, scoured the internet for paranormal stories. Uh, she watched uh, every single uh, video about uh, ghosts and goblins and witches and uh, warlocks and vampires. Uh, she spent her time at night uh, watching horror things. and. It was no wonder to me that those things were starting to happen to her. Uh, and I spent some time talking to her and said, just get back to what you know is the truth. Uh, you know, start going back to church. Start going back to your Bible study. Uh, don't dismiss those things uh, that you learned as a child in your faith just because you're now older and wiser. You know, we do grow older, but the growing wiser doesn't always happen to us. It, it depends on where we keep our focus. You know, I, <clears throat> I truly believe, excuse me, uh, pollen is out today. There's a, uh, different allergies for me over here on the uh, East Coast. So I'm swallowing and coughing and sneezing and all that. But uh, I really believe that we either live up to or down to our own expectations for ourselves. If we go around uh, engaging in negative self-talk in our minds where we beat ourselves up and uh, think very poorly of ourselves and call ourselves by all sorts of uh, uh, derogatory terms, uh, <clears throat> we sort of live down to those expectations. Uh, and on the other hand, if we have positive hopes and dreams, uh, realizing that we're precious children of the Lord and focus on the fact that if God loves us, does it matter who is against us? No, it doesn't. You know, we already have the affirmation and approval of the Lord who uh, gave his own son for us and our salvation. So who is it to run us down if God already thinks favorably of us? We should think about things that are positive and hopeful and not the negative, dark things that are probably gonna hurt us anyway. You know, I used to show a video to my college uh, comparative religion class uh, about a, a wise man from the east of a different uh, different religious faith than, uh, than mine and uh, he was uh, in his temple or I don't remember what he called it uh, but uh, he had his long robes on and he was explaining in this video about how his temple uh, never had any prayers in it. It never had any liturgy or preaching or teaching uh, his temple was architecturally built, according to him, to be a place of power, spiritual energy. And he was uh, very adamant in saying that people came into his temple first thing in the morning and knelt down or sat and meditated for 20 minutes. Uh, and they were filled with great spiritual energy. And I would show this little video to my college students. This, this man was very passionate about the spiritual energy uh, in his uh, his uh, place, and I uh, let it let him go on for a while on the video. Then I stopped it, and I asked my college students, "How many of you believe in that? Do you believe that's true?" And no one raised a hand. And then I raised mine, and they goes, "Well, Father Summers, you're you're a Catholic priest. Do you believe in that?" And I said, "Well, I don't believe what his particular faith is. I mean, he's free to believe anything he wants, but I believe." in the spiritual realm, uh, our expectations guide us. I said, I wish that everyone came to Mass realizing and had high hopes and expectations that they would be filled with great power from on high, because indeed we are. 
and we need to expect it. We need to expect that the Lord is going to do mighty and wonderful things for us because he already has and he continues to do so. And we need to expect it and focus on it. Uh, so today my word of hope is have high expectations that you're going to encounter the grace and the mercy and the love of God today and that uh, you are going to be raised and lifted up in a wonderful way because God loves you and is with you and cares for you. I hope you have a blessed day today and God willing, I will see you tomorrow back in the state of Texas. Have a blessed day.